एवरी वन दिस इज चंद्रशेखर फैकल्टी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग एट योर पीडिया टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट इज नैलको अनाउंसड इट्स कैंडिडेट शॉर्ट लिस्टेड द कैंडिडेट फॉर इंटरव्यू फॉर ऑल ब्रांचेस बट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो सो ऑलमोस्ट अराउंड आई कैन से सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी अराउंड स्टूडेंट्स वर कॉल्ड फॉर इंटरव्यू कॉल्ड फॉर इंटरव्यू इन इलेक्ट्रिकल ब्रांच so in electrical branch what subjects you have to prepare how to prepare uh, i am going to discuss in this video see the very very important subjects in in electrical engineering for nalco interview preparation are electrical machine power system power electronics power electronic drives measurements and scada okay scada is the technology which is used in industries these days so having the basics of scada is very very important how the scada is integrated with the uh, equipments uh, in the i can say in the industry is also very very important and uh, next most important thing is the uh, power electronic drives okay power electronic drives are very very important let's uh, come to the first subject that is electrical machines in electrical machines the very first thing is application of machine every machine application is required and about transformer and synchronous machine synchronous generator and motor induction motor dc motor so with with respect to transformer you must have each and every minute detail like uh, uh, why transformer is having conservator tank what kind of oil is used uh, right what is the purpose of neutral grounding of transformer and uh, with what uh, grounding what grounding method is used uh, to connect the neutral of the transformer to the ground right so these kind of things what are the various faults that happens on the transformer then how to protect uh, the transformer from various faults right uh, uh, about lightning strokes uh, over voltages uh, now when when you come to power systems uh, the uh, the concepts of power generation power system protection in especially protection circuit breakers and relays are very very important circuit breaker and relays uh, uh, how to protect a transformer how to protect a, i can say synchronous uh, machine uh, how to protect a feeder what is the difference between feeder and distributor right and uh, these things are going to be uh, very play a crucial role yeah these these things are going to play a crucial role in your interview see uh, the preparation for interview is very much different from your written examination in written examination some numericals will be given you are going to solve but in interview they will see whether you really understood the concepts or not right so the way questions uh, asked in interview is will in interview will be very different you might study neutral grounding then uh, they will ask in interview what is the purpose of neutral grounding in your written examination nowhere the question will be given in the objective questions what is the purpose of neutral grounding right but they will ask you the what is the purpose of neutral grounding if neutral grounding is not done what happens what are the different types of neutral grounding okay for synchronous motor which grounding is preferred for synchronous generator which grounding is preferred so this way questions will be asked in power system power generation what are the different types of generators uh, and uh, about thermal power station its layout uh, and the nuclear power station uh, we have fission and fusion so which one is used in a nuclear power station for power generation so lot of uh, stuff is there which is very very important with respect to interview so in power system power generation and power system protection and after that uh, few things about uh, transmission lines and uh, faults and stability and load flow load flow is also very very important but the faults they may ask you few questions but because uh, uh, practically uh, there is no much scope to ask in the faults analysis for a new uh, candidate those who is uh, having experience uh, they may shoot with many questions in faults and stability but uh, you being a fresher right uh, through gate you are going therefore only few questions from the concepts like faults and stability but load flow is very very important load load shedding yeah load flow load shedding okay and some equipments like a uh, line isolator right and a current transformer current transformer is very very important current transformer is very very important from the subject of uh, power system when it comes to power electronics uh, especially about rectifiers power electronic devices commutation techniques and uh, inverters choppers these things from these things basic questions will be asked but very important thing from power electronics is power electronic drives various types of drives okay uh, which drive is preferred in which industry right so these kind of questions are possible from the subject power electronics when it comes to electrical measurements uh, uh, voltage measurement current measurement power measurement different ways of power measurement especially megger megger is a device which is very very important uh, you if you are recruited as an engineer as an electrical engineer it is possible that you are going to work with megger in fact 
Magar and uh, uh, the measurement of high resistance. What are the various methods of uh, measurement of high resistance? As I said, current transformer. There are two types of current transformers again. One is uh, the current transformer which is used for the measurement. Another current transformer which is used in the protection. Yes, uh, there is a slight difference in the design of the CT for uh, measurement and CT for protection. Right? This is the, about uh, the subject uh, electrical measurements. Right? And SCADA, it's practical applications of SCADA and having the basic knowledge of SCADA, integration of SCADA with the various equipments. These things are going to be very, very important in your uh, NALCO interview preparation. See, every PSU is going to have its own kind of interview preparation. Not all PSU's interview preparation is same. But uh, ultimately, having the good subject knowledge is going to be very, very important. Uh, are going to conduct unlimited number of snaps. Snap means a small interview on a particular subject uh, which a mentor will take uh, to test you whether you are really good at the con good at the concepts or not. So that kind of snaps you can give any number, there is no limit on that. And second is mocks. Mock is similar to your NALCO interview. Uh, we are having panel of members for each candidate. See for each candidate the interview preparation and the slot uh, for snap and mock is different. Right? There will be three to four members uh, in the panel and your snap mock entry is going to be exactly similar to your, uh, I can say, actual entry of NALCO. Right? And we will be giving you uh, constructive feedback for your improvement. So join your hands with your PDF for your uh, NALCO entry preparation. Thank you.